Because you know you're in, you're in trouble tonight, aren't you, mate? Oh, Sammy's going to destroy you. <laughs> Sammy's got a room here tonight, ladies and gents. She ain't going anywhere. <laughs> Can I play your cards right? Alright, number two. That's not too bad. How are we all travelling? Once you get a bit of protein in this one, <laughs> that's going to sound bad anyway. Um, <laughs> a bit of meat, mate. A bit of meat. <laughs> when you get a bit of, a bit of meat into you, right? That sounds bad too. Holy oh, shit. Now let's talk about the wedding night. Come on. When you have a nice big meal that's delicious, and it starts to sit in your belly, we're starting to feel you know, a, bit, a bit tired, a bit lethargic. Yeah. Let us just get our energy going, right? I'm not going to make you do push-ups, but obviously our table one's going. You're missing a few key players here, so you've got to give a bit of a hoo-ha. Ready, one, two, three. <laughs> Jesse from Lansbury Caravan Park, mate. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> so, I well, didn't say too much excitement from you, buddy. Visit up the front party on the back. <laughs> and you just run to the person kick your nail. All right, gotcha. Gotcha. I'll see you after the next speech. <laughs> <laughs> it's bugging me all night. Are you two related? Nah, no better. Nah, no better. No, no. <laughs> You're lying. Who does better with the girls? Oh, man. Who does better with the boys? I'm the one with the girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you as good as... As Tim from Tinder over here. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, Tim from Tinder. Oh, Tim, oh, Tim he's got a professional in 24 hour relationships. You want any relationship advice from him? He'll tell you how to end, start it and end it in 24 hours. Yeah. This guy has a champion though. You've got to respect the guy who's going to run 5k to get a bloody raincoat. Yeah. Shape though, so he would have got about 500 meters and a half. Back to you tonight. Now, Sammy, you're going. Stop laughing, old bollocks. Oh, I'll stop when you stop laughing. How does that sound? Oh, we're never going to stop. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what a combination, right? These two. Heidi and Ash. Sounds like a breakfast radio crew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Heidi and Ash. 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 Heidi Yeah. <laughs> How you going, Billy? Oh. Yeah, Billy. <laughs> Looks like you're challenging George Mocker tonight, mate. How you going, mate? <laughs> Same, I wouldn't be sitting next to old Tinder Tim there. Because <laughs> he's probably hitting he's probably hitting grinder up tonight, isn't he? He's, oh. he's turning fifty percent into hundred percent, right? <laughs> All right, who else? I'm not going to go after you, buddy, man's bro. Seriously, did you lose a bet or you lost your job? What's going on? <laughs> Is that your lovely lady next to you? Yeah. She's hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bloody boom room, isn't it, mate? Boom's not doing well, doesn't it? Mate, it does, mate. I'll be high-fiving yourself in the face of the chair. <laughs> If you get married, I'm doing the wedding, mate. Seriously. <laughs> Savage, hey? Yeah. Has anyone seen Heidi on the piss? <laughs> I mean, mate, she's not broken a foot. <laughs> she's savvy, hey? She's so nice. First time I met Heidi, she was like in 20. And, uh, and the nicest person you'd ever met. So you say, hi, Heidi. She goes, hi. Hi. <laughs> the world's awesome, isn't it? And now, look at her, she's, she's, she's male married to the most awesome guy, but you ask her about how the world is, she's like, oh yeah, this is another bloody couple that are doing the shit out of me at work, <laughs> wedding day, who would want to plan one? And look at you just going down, just plan the most awesome wedding ever. You guys still single? <laughs> Maddie, we're going to sort you out, Maddie, seriously, is anyone here just not, <laughs> just want to be single? <laughs> I want to look after, want to look after her sister. Right, so who else have we got here? Obviously, you got the, you, you two fellas. You, you are twins, right, aren't you? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. You're trying to bullshit a, a bloody father of identical twins, mate, seriously. <laughs> I'll tell you what, when you guys were born, the doctor would have slapped your mum, going, seriously, two of them. Bang. Unlucky. I know, I know, I know. Hey, we've got to keep them. They're bloody good looking boys, by the way. You've got to keep them down, right? I'm just speaking out for myself. I, I know now why they've got two different types of hair, yeah, hairstyles. 
Crick when they're hanging out with the uh... <laughs> what? Oh, switch around the toilets? <laughs> What's going on over, the, over table 1, they seem to be quiet, mate. Right? Someone fart. <laughs> what up the, the back there? What up the back there? Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm throwing a bit of shade here. You're more than welcome to throw a bit of back at me, but I'll tell you what, the reason why I'm setting you up for a bit of a, a bit of a, uh, a bit of fun here, because we're, we're on for speeches. Who wants to hear a few speeches? <laughs> yes! Right, here we go. So, I saw, look, I'm just trying to suck up this guy, but um, we're going we're gonna to go with the most important person first. Okay. Right? Oh, that's a nice savage. I like right. how I didn't even stand up at all. <laughs> yeah. I knew my place. Do you know what's funny now? Now that Heidi's changed the name for about three hours. <laughs> I can't even say a name, probably not. Before it was like Heidi Wilkinson. Now it's Heidi Otawana. You have to like match the front and the back. She, she likes to say she went from poor to hoe. <laughs> Nice work, mate. Okay, I was going there. You went there. <laughs> right, so I've given Tim a bit of shit. Right, I'm going to leave it late, mate. Right? <laughs> no, I don't. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to Landrig, I think. Landrig Caravan Park. <laughs> just, just a tip, brother. You do have a very beautiful partner there, girlfriend, future wife. But yeah, I'm going to tell you something, sir. You're not going to keep if you take all the cutlery from tonight, right? So you know what to take the cutlery. Probably sounds real soon, eh? The very fact you actually decided that you want to throw something out, even though it was shit out, I'll, I'll pay you a bit of respect, right? That's not bad, not bad. Because anyone who looks like that seriously has got some, some confidence, right? I'm the letter who knows how to fight. There you go. There you go, Milly Milly. Thank you. That's for the old people in the crowd, like Potsy, right? Hey, yeah, Potsy. Hey, Potsy. So, ladies and gents, if you haven't met this legend of a man, he, he's married to uh, and the most incredible, one of the most incredible humans you'll ever Jen Jen. Jen Jen works with hides, right? And uh, and Potsy's uh, Jen Jen's husband. And then when Jen Jen was uh, was looking for a job. Um, Potsy turned up for the interview and did the interview for his wife. <laughs> he, no joke, and he goes, I need to get her out of the house, please. <laughs> and Potsy, if you don't know, get a cover drink with this guy, he's an absolute champion. I spent about six months over in the UK with him. Um, back in our day, we were in the military, he's ex-army. He's an ex-army personal trainer. And you know, they say, you're doing teaching, so those who can't teach, <laughs> right? But those who can't teach, teach Jim, like Potsy. <laughs> So we're going to go with a few speeches, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have some fun. Thanks for being such an awesome, awesome audience. I just want to give yeah, these guys such a great night. There's, there's so much fun. I'm looking forward to, to getting back on the gas with Hides because, like I said, she's savage. Yeah. Right? Now she's Mrs. Savage. Yeah. Right? Um, I do want to do a bit of a shout out to the ladies who end up in the hospital in the hens night. <laughs> right? So three, three girls ended up in hospital. One with nearly a broken foot, broken arm, whatever, and concussion. Poor Magic Mike, eh? You just said, right, didn't you? And then he brought us drinks, it was great. Well done. So, ladies and gents, this, this man I'd like to introduce, um, seriously, uh, it's funny when you, uh, when you're at work, uh, I'll work with Heidi in case you don't realise that, um, she's my boss. Um, actually, I've got five of them, like the bloody Jan, I've got Chris, and I've got you, and I've got bloody boys, and, and Sammy, she's everyone's bosses. Um, that's our daughter, by the way, not you, Sammy. But you can... <laughs> You're Cody's boss. Hey! Or should I say own owner? Because you'll be owning him tonight, won't you? Hey! Yes. <laughs> so, uh, so, when we work, like, Heidi's phone goes off. It just, it's, just, it's just buzzing the text all day, and you think it's from Ash, but it's not, because you're too busy just being laid back. Um, <laughs> it's actually from Matt. He's a fan. He just texts all day. <laughs> it doesn't he? He's an absolute fan. I'm like, what are you doing at home? He works from home. Yeah. So he just he, he's got his he's got his phone on bloody vibrate every ten minutes. Text Heidi. Oh, <laughs> 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 so 
<laughs> oh, he's not doing much at home, seriously. Wait till his work, honestly. Yeah, exactly right. So, so I'm billing you too, mate. So, you know, <laughs> so Heights, Heights, I have to say, it's it's incredible when you hear a person talk about you know, the, the, the important people in their lives are significant people. And I'll see Kathy, absolute champion, right? If you don't know Kathy, everyone, you should introduce yourself. When, when Heidi was here. Guys, the one guy's So, so it takes a team to, to raise a beautiful human. You two have done an absolutely fantastic job. But it's so nice when you hear, um, when you hear people talk about their parents in such a way that um, they're, they're the greatest the guidance, help, assistance, just always somebody there. Um, and, and Matt had a very important role to play today in, in escorting his beautiful daughter down the aisle. It was amazing. It was actually emotional. We were all getting emotional up, upstairs before it happened. And, um, and mate, you would have absolutely enjoyed every moment of it. Um, I think you're an amazing guy, seriously. You've done an incredible job, um, obviously, with Kathy Ray's and support as human. But I'm here to I'm going to have to call bullshit or something. I knew it was coming. Whenever you meet someone as amazing, you've got to wait for the butt moment, right? And when I met Heidi, I, I found my butt moment, right? And it's when I found out she's a Paris supporter. That's <laughs> right? Now I hear, I hear that it's a dream of yours to one day go to a grand final with Heidi. So Jerry's yes. going to sponsor it. Yeah. So what's going to happen, mate? So what's going to happen, mate? You will go to a grand final, but it won't have power in. It. <laughs> so ladies and gents, why don't you put your, why don't you make a bit of noise for this guy? Seriously, he's an awesome human. He's a wonderful father, and he's also the father of our, of our bride here tonight. Put your hands together for Matt, everyone. Yeah.